Alright, now we're gonna pick Peach. I'd say she's the worst character in the game, but she's not Mario, so whatever. She only- the only thing she has going for her is that she can float, um, but she takes forever to pick stuff up, and I really hate that. It, it gets me killed, like, a lot. And, um, see, look at that. See, Toad would have pulled out, like, 50 items out of the ground in the time it takes Peach to just come out with just one. It's ridiculous. Alright, here we go. If you pick Peach... Come on, jump up there, really? If you pick Peach in the game exclusively... Just, no. And, and I have to do this digging level. It's gonna suck because she's... She's so slow to, uh... Pull up items. Oh good, a star. Give me that thing. This will hopefully make up for, uh... For the annoyance... That is, uh... Doing what I'm doing right now. Okay. We got ourselves, uh... I don't like this guy. Don't go away! Go away. Alright, here we go. See if we can get another five cherries. We'll be able to kill the boss in one hit. Oh, nope, we're all so we're already at the bottom. Now this game's gonna get tough when I start rolling the die and just I, I'm gonna have to pick random characters and in this game I choose like the same characters for for, for each level. Like some characters are better than others. I usually pick Luigi and Toad most of the time. But um we're gonna see how things play out. Alright. First, it's the bonus chance. Yes! I get two ups. That's good. Another cherry. No, I got a bunch of random crap. I got the royal sampler. And that's not good at all. And I got two stars and a seven. That's nothing. Okay, it's time to roll the dice now. I rolled a one, so unfortunately I have to pick Mario for this next level. Oh boy. Things are going to get interesting here. I never, ever play as Mario, so this is completely new territory for me. Alright, here we go. Um, maybe my opinion on Mario will change, because since I never actually play as him, I don't know if like he's any good. I seem to be just flying through the levels, like right now, at a brisk pace. Oh, kill that guy. That is a great source of uh, health, since you get that killing that guy technically counts as like killing two, like four guys. I need to uh, kill a bunch more though for that heart to appear. Oh yeah, it's got to be a heart now. Yes, there it is. If you need health in the game, just kill a bunch of enemies. You'll get a heart. If you get that green pokey to show up. That's awesome. All right, go away. Let's get the... Oh, there's the star. Am I even going to get it? Get it, yes. Here we go. Going down. Get more of the cherries. Hopefully we can get another star. Come on. That's three. I think I need five, st five cherries for a star to appear. That's four cherries. I think I want to go on this side. Something tells me that the other side is not good. I hate that thing. Sniff it, I think it's called. Oh, is he just gonna stay stick around there? Alright. No! Why'd you do that? And I didn't even get a star. Oh well. It's time for Birdo! And I I think I used to call this enemy Burrito for some reason. Even though it's Birdo and not Burrito. And burrito kind of sounds like burrito, you like like that, like that delicious sandwich, Mexican sandwich. I I would like a burrito right now, actually. Boom, you're dead. Give me that crystal thing. It's gonna take me a one-way ticket to the Crystal Empire, where everything is made out of crystal and is very fragile. Okay, so let's roll the dice again. Roll the die. Ever. I got a three. It's time to pick Toad. Here we go. Well, 2-3. We're gonna pick Toad. 
who is the most fun character to play as, in my opinion. Um, uh, it's just, uh, it's nothing good. Okay, let's use an item. We're gonna power speed through this. Oh, no. Okay, so much for power speeding. Although I'm still running pretty fast. Let's get a star, hopefully. Yes, there's a one. Come on, come on. The star really comes out slow in this game. Okay, now that I have star power, I'd like to kill all the enemies, but I can't because there's nothing here. Where's the heart? Get up here. Give me a heart. No hearts. Not yet. Maybe in here. Um. Yeesh. Aha. Gotta be a heart that comes up. Yes. Gotcha. All right. Now we're doing good. Oh. Let's do the power speed. Toad is the strongest character for some reason. So he can just dig straight down really fast. Way faster than Peach can. And they can just ignore all the shy guys. And hey, it's the first appearance of, of shy guys in a Mario game. So, yeah. Now, um... I guess, I suppose I should mention this at least sometime during this playthrough, but, uh... This wasn't actually a Mario game originally. It was a, it was a different game. They changed it to Mar to being a Mario game, you know, when they uh, brought it over to the U.S. because they thought the original Mario 2 was too hard, and um, that's really all I'm gonna say about that. Because if you're watching a Mario 2 LP, you probably know a lot about Mario 2 already. And you've probably heard that same story like a million times already, so let's just go and um, pick up an enemy. You see how much faster we are? This is why I love Toad. You can just speed run through everything. Go away. Oh yeah, pick up the crystal. And we're gonna go straight into like the eagle's mouth. How weird is that? And we have ourselves a very easy boss. This is Triclide. He is... um. It would be a lot funnier if he was on a tricycle, but he's not. Uh, it's the power of threes, and oh my god, was that easy or what? Okay, let's fool around with the door before going inside. Um, oh, you can't, it doesn't work in this one. Or, I think in the NES version, this light right here, you could stack blocks on top of it, but I may be wrong. You could still stack blocks on top of the door here. I guess that's why I like the NES version a little more. It seems to be a lot uh, glitchier, I guess. Let's block ourselves out entirely. Oh no, now what am I going to do? How do I get in the door? Oh wait, I can just do this. 